Hey guys, this is John Blaber up here at McGrath Dodge Country. I am in the all new 2020 Dodge Durango RT, and today I'm going to be showing you how the adaptive cruise and lane sense works. So let's get right into it here. So I have the button that is a default button, I have it turned on, so it's, I basically just don't have the light turned on there. And you can see it's working because it's got that little green car with the two lines. Now there's going to be three statuses for this. There's going to be a green, which means it's working, orange, which means it might not, and then a uh, white, which means it's not at all. So you can see here, if I get over to the side of the line, it'll actually steer me over. Now I'll do that two to three times um, before it'll tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel typically. Um, and so that'll be nice, kind of keeps you safer on longer road trips, whatever else that might be. For the adaptive cruise control, that's pretty simple. So that's just a button push here and then a set. So super easy how that system works. So I just set the adaptive cruise control to 66 miles an hour. So basically what that means is somebody pulls out in front of me and they're doing 60, I'm going to pace them doing 60 miles an hour uh, at a predetermined uh, distance until they pull off or until they speed up, in which at this point, then we're going to speed back up to 66 and we're going to keep going down the road just like we were. So that's nice. You never have to hit your brakes or anything like that. And that's all just through these two buttons here. Hopefully that answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, please do let me know. I'd be more than happy to make another video for you. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.